everybody, Brian Davis here with Danny Davis at Royal Memorial Stadium, where tonight it was a big one. The orange-white spring game, the white team is your winner, 23-13. For those of you historians out there, but Jot Danny, it down, jot it down. Jot it down. But Danny, let's get to the bigger picture. First thing I want to say is that I thought it was a tremendous crowd. Texas officials should, take, should get a tip of the cap. A lot of fans here uh, in a big environment before the game. They got to go on the field, get their photograph taken with Bevo. One of the biggest events I felt like I've seen in five, six years here. Yeah, and I think that we were estimating about 35,000 people, which is uh, almost double what we saw last year, which was really disappointing, albeit it was over an Easter weekend. But, you know, there's threats of rainy weather. There right. were reasons just to stay home, lots to do in Austin. But, you know, some fans came out. They were treated to some pregame festivities, a pretty decent game. Um, if you brought your family, there's a lot of stuff for the kids to do. Absolutely. And it, was a good, it was a good reason to come out to the ballpark, and they have a reason to you know, be, uh, be excited, you know, maybe in the future when this team starts winning some more games, you know, maybe they'll draw some Alabama-like crowds, but you know, this was a good step today. Absolutely. Let's talk about what was saw on the field tonight. Remember, this was the 15th practice out of 15, so this was the final practice of the spring. But what we saw, Danny, we saw some really big moments out of some, some potentially bright stars. Colin Johnson, USC Colin Johnson, showed up tonight. He had six catches for 91 yards, but the guy that everyone's going to walk away feeling pumped about is little Jordan Humphrey, the pride of South Lake. Seven catches for 100 yards. He also ran it a few times, had let's see, 14 yards and punched it in twice. twice pushed it in twice for two touchdowns. He was all over the place. Yeah, it'll be, you know, they played in opposite teams. We didn't get to see them both on the same side of the field, but once mm -hmm. the fall comes and the, you have, you know, Colin on the outside, Will Jordan running around in the slot or in the backfield or on the outside, that's going to be a very nice combination and it's going to give a lot of, some people a lot of things to think about. I was actually impressed with, uh, you know, this person, someone we don't say a lot, Joshua Rowland. Mm -hmm. He had a really, Absolutely. really troublesome year last year, but hit a 50-yard field goal at the end of the first half, which was um, something that these Texas fans needed to see because the kicking game is going to be a question going into the season, but this was at least a positive moment for him. Let's talk about the defense real quick. You know, I, I'm wondering about the Texas running game, but they were going up against the Texas front seven, Danny, which I think could be pretty good. I, I think that Taquan Graham, Brecken Hager, Malcolm Roach, Charles Omena, who we can go right on down the line. thought they played pretty well. Stuff in the run. B.J. Foster had one of the best plays today. The freshman Very with nice. a one-handed near interception. Pass break up. Uh, yeah, he played well. Uh, Brecken Hager actually had a catch today. That was a little weird. How about that? Um, but, you know, the defense, we expect this defense to be good. They were good last year. They lost some key pieces, but mm -hmm. they have a lot of talent back. So, I mean, it should be a shock that they, uh, they shine tonight. Absolutely. Texas officials will now begin their nine-city This Is Texas tour. It begins uh, this week, actually, in Amarillo and Midland. Then it goes to Dallas and Fort Worth and on to everywhere else. That's going to be big, so watch for that coming to your area. But that's going to wrap it up for the spring. Right here, any th other main thoughts of the spring, Danny? Uh, you know, I'm just ready for September to happen. So let's, uh, let's fast forward to then, and we'll, we'll see we'll see y'all then. Bring on Maryland. Well, that's it from tonight here at Royal Memorial. Once again, he's Danny. I'm Brian. We'll see you next time.